The purpose of the following video is to introduce you, the viewer, to some of the advantages and features of the Hydraulic Phase Lifter HPHL 1500. This short animation shows the phase lifter moving from the side stow position to full deployment. The installation of the sled on the lower arm to unlocking the arms to full open and locked position. The unit rotating under the main boom of the crane to the start of the installation of the extenders and the insulators along with the wire holders, and finally the unit raising to the vertical work position. The phase lifter is capable of being stowed and deployed on a crane like a steel jib. To prepare the phase lifter for work, a sled is first installed on the lower arm. This serves to protect the arm from contact with the ground and to give weight to assist with opening the arms. The insulator sliders can be moved in 6 inch increments to a maximum of 14 and a half feet between phases. This is a close up of the arm locking bar and the lever used to unlock the arms. The phase lifter is deployed by having the arm with the sled attached, resting on the ground, and pulling the pin that holds the arms together. The latest version of the phase lifter has done away with the half open lock position, so the man holding the rope at the base of the phase lifter is no longer needed for deployment. As the boom is raised, the lower arm of the unit is walked back to the full open and locked position. Using the remote control, the phase lifter is rotated to position the arm to clear the ground by laying it along the bottom of the boom. The crane boom is then lowered to gain access to the arm to install the insulators. The first insulator to be installed is always the one farthest from the crane and highest from the ground. Next, the boom is raised to install the middle insulator. The process is then repeated for the last insulator position. The insulators are held in place by our quick attach U-shaped pins that slide onto the ears of the insulator brackets on the phase lifter. The, the quick attach pins are held in place by installing linch pins into the holes drilled at the ends of the pins. The wire holders are installed with the same interchangeable pin used for the insulators. The wire holders are oriented to match the structure being worked on, vertical as shown here, or with the gate straight out for horizontal. The wire holders will be added to each insulator as it's being installed on the phase lifter. A desk and canister is installed in each arm of the phase lifter as well as the optional fiberglass insulators. The canister seals and protects the inside of the fiberglass by keeping it clean and free of moisture, unlocking the gates on the wire holders to release the conductors. This is a close-up of the self-contained radio-controlled hydraulic unit that comes standard on every unit. This unit contains a pump motor, batteries, control valve, and a battery charge indicator light, eliminating the need to run hydraulic hoses or electrical cables down the boom of your crane. This also makes moving the HPHL 29-1500 from one crane to another much easier and faster.